2017 Chevy Colorado 3.6. Going to replace the serpentine belt. Okay, it has one of the worst upper engine air filter induction systems I've ever seen. If you want to take this off to do it, that's fine. Got a 10 millimeter right here. Okay, 10 millimeter bolt, remove that. Loosen up this eight millimeter hose clamp going on to the throttle body. Remove your oil cap, twist it and pull it off. Come over here, passenger side. Loosen up this eight millimeter hose clamp. All right, and then down here, it's another 10 millimeter bolt, remove that. This, don't mess with it, comes with it, okay? So you got your hose clamps off, get them off the air filter assembly. Best off to do is remove the air filter upper housing. Remove the screws that go around it. Remove this piece off of there. Unplug your mass airflow sensor. Unplug it. Get this off so that way you're not fighting this hose. Okay? So then you can pick this thing up and then pull it towards you this way a little bit and get it off the throttle body. Then you can get this whole engine assembly off. Okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna replace the serpentine belt down there. Okay, draw yourself a little diagram on the belt first. So you don't have to go look at it up. Right there is the tensioner, 15 millimeter. So what you need to do is get your ratchet on it, put it and push it down that way. Okay. Okay. Here's I'm on it. Pushing it, okay. Now I reach the other hand down there and take the belt off the top of the water pump. Okay, you got your belt off top of the water pump. Release the tension. Remove your, your ratchet. Okay, now what you need to do is go ahead and pull that belt out of there. All right. I'm just really disappointed in GM making this thing. What the heck? All right. It's out. Get your new belt. Let it hang for a little bit. Get rid of the, the shape of the package. Okay, you got your new belt routed properly. Now, you got it going underneath the water pump. All right, no, going over the top. So you gotta go underneath the water pump. What you need to do is put your tool on your tensioner. Push on it that way. And then go ahead and grab that belt and lift it up over the water pump pulley and get it in all the grooves, okay? Okay, what I did was I stood on a little step stool, put my left arm down through here, grab hold of the belt, that was, that's supposed to go on top of the water pump. And I grabbed it, pulled on the tension of it, and then took my right arm and got on my ratchet and pushed it to the left, releasing the pressure. And as I'm doing that, I guiding the belt up over the top of the water pump, okay? And when I got it all the way over the top, then I released my pressure on my ratchet. And then that's where I'm at right now. So, if you think, look at it, get out, hopefully it's all in all the grooves. And then go ahead and remove your ratchet. And then go inside the vehicle. And start it. For, and then shut it off. And then double recheck to make sure it's still on all the pulleys. Okay? Okay, I started it. And then I shut it off real quick. And I rechecked it and it's in all the grooves, so I'm all set. If you remove this, you should at least plug your mass airflow sensor back in first. <coughs> so you don't get a check engine light. So if it's all good, then go ahead and put your cover back on. It's a little tricky. You gotta push it into the throttle body. Push it down in there because you got this. 
for the filler neck goes in there. And then you got your air filter assembly. Do that last, and you got your two bolts, okay? And that's how you do your serpentine belt, okay? Hopefully I helped you out. And hopefully you can help me out by subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you.